Well, tension in the air here. It's got all the ingredients, hasn't it? And it's our main feature today on EA TV. Join us soon. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today, Alan Smith. Welcome to today's game. Today, Torino against Juventus. That traditional Italian way of blocking off the opposition is apparent again in the way Juventus go about their business. Very good at what they do. No, I think uh, the home side will have to produce something special to break through this defence. Have a look at this list for Torino, their lineup here. The kind of players that we expect, the kind of performances we expect from the individuals trying to make this formation work. Yeah, I mean, it can at first glance look cautious, but it just depends on the attitude of the players out there. But once they've got a foothold in this game, they can get a little bit more adventurous and push on. The Juventus line up there. Taylor Navas in goal. Daniele Rugani plays with Jerome Berting in central defence. And the main striker is the Argentinian Paolo Dybala. It's time out in their home victory against Roma. Yeah, 3-0. Comfortable for them and uh, they're flying at the moment. I think they'll win again. The referee here is Gianluca Del Torano. Well, the kickoff is forced just to knock the ball forward by the press. The pie. Dybala. Well, it's a goal that's been on the cards. The better team at this stage of the match. And you wonder whether they would make that domination count. Well, they've done with this goal. Thoroughly deserved. They lead. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, right. I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that. Just pointed that out this week, as if we didn't know already. Yeah, he's a good lad. He concentrates on his game, and uh, he plays off, doesn't it? He's one of those players that stays on his feet. Here's a chance. Well, that could be the insurance goal here. That little bit of daylight that they were after. In truth, Alan, this is what we expected. The dominant side and they're showing that on the scoreline. Yeah, we don't always get what we expect, but uh, they've been good value here. They've played well, particularly the... Restarting at 2-0. Juventus using a lot of the width in this pitch. Shots on! A goal! Into the area where the post joins the crossbar, inside both post and crossbar, and it's in. And here he was, faced by the goalkeeper. That was the challenge. In you go. Easy as you like. It looks easy, doesn't it? But I can tell you it's not. You have to be at the top of your game to try it and to convert it. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and boy, is it getting results out there. Now, here's a chance. Really challenging the opposition now, Juventus. A real opening for him. What a goal! Three of the best. He's made them pay, and that completes a wonderful hat trick. They will be signing the match ball for him afterwards because of a hat-trick. Yeah, he won't forget this day in a hurry. Top stuff from him.
Nielsen. Taking on the defenders. Delivery to the far post. And it's in. Perfect header. Well, for all of you who love seeing headed goals, I do for sure. I know Alan does. What a good example this was. He's always on the move in the box, this lad. We know he's a fine header of the ball. He showed it there. How about that goal for sheer class? Well, he could hardly miss that from the right wing. That was a perfect delivery. And they got their reward for it. Used the power on the delivery, really, and his head guided it home. Oh, he's good at those. He's one of the best headers of the ball around and showed it there. Juventus are going to make a change here. One team really on their game to steer through. Now, here's a chance. Should be a goal for Juventus. Moment. Yet another goal for him. He can do no wrong. Some matches, everything goes wrong, but not today. Well, let's take another look at the goal. to say it's so one-sided today but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals well he was in the right place at the right time to cut it out Nielsen well they're in a good position here the shot's up oh it's the post it's a proper old-fashioned clearance there from the defender he is substituted it's just going to be the one yeah he's manager will be really pleased with that contribution because uh, he's worked really well for the team. Oh, it could be on. Shots on here. Ah, oh, fantastic goal. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances, and he was. Oh, that is a fantastic goal. Yeah, he's close in, but he kept his head down. got numbers in this attack and it looks dangerous Aguero and here's the shot and they've got him to score here into the area where the post joins the crossbar inside both post and crossbar and it's in there's another one for them well, it's certainly going to help the goal difference it might be important at the end of the season game and everyone's expecting you to get a hat full but they've kept their focus this side and uh... opportunity now well that's the sign of a top class player to score like that well if it wasn't wrapped up before Alan it certainly is now yeah no mercy from this side thinking about goal difference I think now let's see the replay now oh he's loving it the manager he's seeing his team playing really well just what he was asking for now Nielsen He's very confident with the ball at his feet. Bernadeschi. Delightful touch to score the goal. The goalkeeper was reaching for it, and it did actually touch him on the way in. I think there was just too much power on the ball, on the shot, for him to get a strong enough touch. It is now an extraordinary lead, and you could say really game over. And that's it, last blast on the whistle from the referee. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Yeah, one of those matches, Martin, where everything he touched 
turned to gold. It was an impeccable performance. Well, they're going to really remember this for a long time. The winners in a derby because of the margin. It's almost historic. It is and humiliating for the losing side here. Makes it worse, so much worse that it's the derby match and they're going to take some time to live this one down.